Listen and practice. The Haunting of Hollowbrook Mansion Once upon a time, in the small, sleepy town of Hollowbrook, there was a Halloween like no other. The townsfolk had always taken Halloween very seriously, decorating their houses with eerie spiderwebs and carved pumpkins that seemed to grin maliciously in the moonlight. But this year, a legend had resurfaced, a tale of a long-lost haunted mansion hidden deep in the woods. As the sun set on Halloween night, a group of adventurous teenagers, Sarah, Mark, and Alex, decided to seek out the mansion and prove it was nothing more than a silly story. Armed with flashlights and dressed in their spookiest costumes, they ventured into the dark forest. The trees whispered secrets, and the wind carried a chilling tune that sent shivers down their spines. Finally, they stumbled upon the mansion, an imposing structure with vines and thorns snaking up its walls. The full moon bathed it in a ghostly glow, and creaky doors beckoned them inside. The moment they crossed the threshold, the mansion came alive. Ghostly figures floated through the air, ethereal voices whispered secrets from the past, and candles lit themselves. The teenagers soon realized they were trapped in a supernatural world. In the grand ballroom, a phantom orchestra played an eerie waltz, and the trio was compelled to dance. Sarah twirled with a ghostly gentleman, Mark spun with a spectral lady, and Alex waltzed with a phantom child. The more they danced, the more they became part of the spectral world, their costumes turning into period attire. Desperate to escape, they stumbled into the dusty library, where an old, tattered book told the tale of the mansion. It was cursed, a prison for restless spirits. To break the curse, they had to find the locket of the mansion's original owner, Lady Victoria, and return it to her tomb. With newfound determination, they ventured into the haunted gardens, dodging thorns and dodgy apparitions. At last, they found the tomb. Inside lay the locket, and Sarah delicately placed it on Lady Victoria's spectral image. The mansion shook, and the spirits let out a triumphant cheer before disappearing into the darkness. The curse was broken, and the mansion was finally at peace. Sarah, Mark, and Alex found themselves back in their own time, in front of the mansion. No longer haunted, it stood silently among the trees. They hurried home, forever changed by their Halloween adventure, and the legend of the haunted mansion became nothing more than a spooky memory. From that day on, Halloween in Hollowbrook was just like any other, peaceful, with no trace of the supernatural. Repeat after me. The Haunting of Hollowbrook Mansion The Haunting of Hollowbrook Mansion The Haunting of Hollowbrook Mansion Once upon a time, in the small, sleepy town of Hollowbrook, there was a Halloween like no other. Once upon a time, in the small, sleepy town of Hollowbrook, there was a Halloween like no other. Once upon a time, in the small, sleepy town of Hollowbrook, there was a Halloween like no other. The townsfolk had always taken Halloween very seriously. The townsfolk had always taken Halloween very seriously. The townsfolk had always taken Halloween very seriously. Decorating their houses with eerie spiderwebs and carved pumpkins that seemed to grin maliciously in the moonlight. Decorating their houses with eerie spiderwebs and carved pumpkins that seemed to grin maliciously in the moonlight.
decorating their houses with eerie spiderwebs and carved pumpkins that seemed to grin maliciously in the moonlight. But this year, a legend had resurfaced, a tale of a long-lost haunted mansion hidden deep in the woods. But this year, a legend had resurfaced, a tale of a long-lost haunted mansion hidden deep in the woods. But this year, a legend had resurfaced, a tale of a long-lost haunted mansion hidden deep in the woods. As the sun set on Halloween night, a group of adventurous teenagers, Sarah, Mark, and Alex. As the sun set on Halloween night, a group of adventurous teenagers, Sarah, Mark, and Alex. As the sun set on Halloween night, a group of adventurous teenagers, Sarah, Mark, and Alex. Decided to seek out the mansion and prove it was nothing more than a silly story. Decided to seek out the mansion and prove it was nothing more than a silly story. Decided to seek out the mansion and prove it was nothing more than a silly story. Armed with flashlights and dressed in their spookiest costumes, they ventured into the dark forest. Armed with flashlights and dressed in their spookiest costumes, they ventured into the dark forest. Armed with flashlights and dressed in their spookiest costumes, they ventured into the dark forest. The trees whispered secrets, and the wind carried a chilling tune that sent shivers down their spines. The trees whispered secrets, and the wind carried a chilling tune that sent shivers down their spines. The trees whispered secrets, and the wind carried a chilling tune that sent shivers down their spines. Finally, they stumbled upon the mansion, an imposing structure with vines and thorns snaking up its walls. Finally, they stumbled upon the mansion, an imposing structure with vines and thorns snaking up its walls. Finally, they stumbled upon the mansion, an imposing structure with vines and thorns snaking up its walls. The full moon bathed it in a ghostly glow, and creaky doors beckoned them inside. The full moon bathed in a ghostly glow, and creaky doors beckoned them inside. The full moon bathed in a ghostly glow, and creaky doors beckoned them inside. The moment they crossed the threshold, the mansion came alive. Ghostly figures floated through the air. The moment they crossed the threshold, the mansion came alive. Ghostly figures floated through the air. The moment they crossed the threshold, the mansion came alive. Ghostly figures floated through the air. Ethereal voices whispered secrets from the past, and candles lit themselves. Ethereal voices whispered secrets from the past, and candles lit themselves. Ethereal voices whispered secrets from the past, and candles lit themselves. The teenagers soon realized they were trapped in a supernatural world. The teenagers soon realized they were trapped in a supernatural world. The teenagers soon realized they were trapped in a supernatural world. In the grand ballroom, a phantom orchestra played an eerie waltz, and the trio was compelled to dance. In the grand ballroom, a phantom orchestra played an eerie waltz, 
and the trio was compelled to dance. In the grand ballroom, a phantom orchestra played an eerie waltz, and the trio was compelled to dance. Sarah twirled with a ghostly gentleman, Mark spun with a spectral lady, and Alex waltzed with a phantom child. Sarah twirled with a ghostly gentleman, Mark spun with a spectral lady, and Alex waltzed with a phantom child. Sarah twirled with a ghostly gentleman, Mark spun with a spectral lady, and Alex waltzed with a phantom child. The more they danced, the more they became part of the spectral world, their costumes turning into period attire. The more they danced, the more they became part of the spectral world, their costumes turning into period attire. The more they danced, the more they became part of the spectral world, their costumes turning into period attire. Desperate to escape, they stumbled into the dusty library, where an old, tattered book told the tale of the mansion. Desperate to escape, they stumbled into the dusty library, where an old, tattered book told the tale of the mansion. Desperate to escape, they stumbled into the dusty library, where an old, tattered book told the tale of the mansion. It was cursed, a prison for restless spirits. It was cursed, a prison for restless spirits. It was cursed, a prison for restless spirits. To break the curse, they had to find the locket of the mansion's original owner, Lady Victoria, and return it to her tomb. To break the curse, they had to find the locket of the mansion's original owner, Lady Victoria, and return it to her tomb. To break the curse, they had to find the locket of the mansion's original owner, Lady Victoria, and return it to her tomb. With newfound determination, they ventured into the haunted gardens, dodging thorns and dodgy apparitions. With newfound determination, they ventured into the haunted gardens, dodging thorns and dodgy apparitions. With newfound determination, they ventured into the haunted gardens, dodging thorns and dodgy apparitions. At last, they found the tomb. Inside lay the locket, and Sarah delicately placed it on Lady Victoria's spectral image. At last, they found the tomb. Inside lay the locket, and Sarah delicately placed it on Lady Victoria's spectral image. At last, they found the tomb. Inside lay the locket, and Sarah delicately placed it on Lady Victoria's spectral image. The mansion shook, and the spirits let out a triumphant cheer before disappearing into the darkness. The mansion shook, and the spirits let out a triumphant cheer before disappearing into the darkness. The mansion shook, and the spirits let out a triumphant cheer before disappearing into the darkness. The curse was broken, and the mansion was finally at peace. The curse was broken, and the mansion was finally at peace. The curse was broken, and the mansion was finally at peace. Sarah, Mark, and Alex found themselves back in their own time, in front of the mansion. Sarah, Mark, and Alex found themselves back in their own time, in front of the mansion. 
Sarah, Mark, and Alex found themselves back in their own time, in front of the mansion. No longer haunted, it stood silently among the trees. No longer haunted, it stood silently among the trees. No longer haunted, it stood silently among the trees. They hurried home, forever changed by their Halloween adventure. They hurried home, forever changed by their Halloween adventure. They hurried home, forever changed by their Halloween adventure. And the legend of the haunted mansion became nothing more than a spooky memory. And the legend of the haunted mansion became nothing more than a spooky memory. And the legend of the haunted mansion became nothing more than a spooky memory. From that day on, Halloween in Hollowbrook was just like any other, peaceful, with no trace of the supernatural. From that day on, Halloween in Hollowbrook was just like any other, peaceful, with no trace of the supernatural. From that day on, Halloween in Hollowbrook was just like any other, peaceful, with no trace of the supernatural. Answer the question. 1. What was the reason the teenagers, Sarah, Mark, and Alex, ventured into the haunted mansion? A. To prove the legend of the haunted mansion. B. To steal valuable artifacts. C. To enjoy a spooky dance party. D. To find Lady Victoria's ghost. Two, what event marked the beginning of the mansion's supernatural transformation? A. The teenagers entering the mansion. B. The moonrise. C. The mansion shaking. D. The phantom orchestra playing. Three, what did the teenagers need to do to break the curse of the haunted mansion? A. Find the mansion's hidden treasure. B. Solve a riddle. C. Return Lady Victoria's locket to her tomb. D. Dance with the ghostly figures. Four, what did the teenagers discover in the dusty library of the haunted mansion? A. A secret passage to escape. B. A recipe for a potion. C. A cursed mirror. D. Information about the mansion's curse and its solution. Five. How did the story end for Sarah, Mark, and Alex? A. They were forever trapped in the haunted mansion. B. They returned to their own time and the mansion remained haunted. C. They broke the curse and the mansion was at peace.
D. They decided to stay in the mansion and become ghosts.